A very good evening to everyone. Welcome to Global Online. And here we are back with our NTA UGC net preparation for paper one, that is for June 2024 cycle, wherein we are going to take today important questions which are based on higher education system. Before we go ahead and start this session for the day, let's understand one of the important announcements, what exactly it is. So we have basically just a second. Yeah, so we have um, a very important announcement for all those uh, students as well as all those who are new in this channel. We have our new batches starting from 11th of March and these batches will be live on the app. Now, how to access to get access to this batches and how to go ahead? I'll be telling you this until the end of the video. Make sure that you're watching the entire video, studying the MCQs and understanding the process of joining the batches. So here comes our first question. Given are the two statements, you have to identify the statements are right, wrong, false, uh, correct, incorrect, right? So the first statement says that education for sustainable development has to be related to the process of taking decisions pertaining to economic, politics and natural environment. Statement two says that inviting senior citizens to schools and allowing them to speak on environment of their childhood may help in developing a concept of sustainable development. So it means that what exactly the past was how the present is and how the future will be. This can be informed to the students, but with the life examples and with the help of these senior citizens who have witnessed the past, are seeing the present and who can help to develop a better future. So obviously looking at both the statements, understanding both the statements, yes, it makes clear that both these statements are correct. So statement number one as well as statement number two are correct and both the statements has the same, you know, information but with an example and with a theory point of view, right? Coming to question number two, everyone. Now, question number two is an assertion and reasoning question. So we know very well that assertion questions are those questions which are like the statements and supporting reasons are given. So you need to identify whether the statements are correct with the correct explanation or vice versa, right? So the complexity of social context in which higher education existed in India very likely makes systematic reforms impossible. The inadequacy of infrastructure and attitude of the academic community to prefer status quo than taking risks with the experiments and innovation require initiative and considerable efforts that are principal impediments. So where it talks about what it talks about your complexity with respect to social context. It talks about the infrastructure. It talks about the uh, academic community and taking of risks with respect to innovation and experiments. So the statement is given to you. You have read the statement. Now you have to identify that the given reason is true or the given reason is incorrect. So coming to the statement, statement that is assertion is absolutely correct and the given reason is a correct explanation because if we talk about complexity of the social environment, somewhere, you know, the inadequacy of the infrastructure, somewhere, somewhere the, uh, the, the part of taking the risks as you know, as an experiment, as an innovation uh, is definitely correlated, interrelated and hence it stands to be what? It stands to be the correct reason, right? Coming to question number three, according to the Indian constitution, some fundamental rights of the citizen can be suspected during what? National disasters, national emergency, in financial emergency or national election. So according to the Indian constitution, the some uh, sorry some of the fundamental rights of the citizens can be suspended during what from the, which of the given options so whether it is national disaster whether it is national emergency financial emergency or national election so just looking at the question and talking about the rights of you know the fundamental rights of the citizen can be suspended only in the one case Okay, where it can be given an exception. So that will be only and only in the case of what? It can be only and only in the case of national emergency, right? Okay, so that is the only where place or only situation where the rights of the citizens can be suspended. Not, not, apart from that, nothing will be, you know, changed. Now, 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज टर्म एज मैग्ना कार्टा ऑफ इंग्लिश एजुकेशन इन इंडिया Now yes, let me tell you that in the next class of the app, okay, we'll be having or we'll be discussing all the commissions one by one. So obviously, Magma Carta is also one of the part of the commission which we will be studying very clear, ah, uh, very soon. But still, let's understand that which of the, you know, ah, uh, min either the commissions or the minutes is talking about Magna Carta. So basically, Magna Carta is something you know, it's a a royal uh, you can say a, it it can be uh, sorry it is a basically a uh, agreement a document which guarantees you know the liberty so it it is applicable in elphiston's minute macaulay's minute wardha educational scheme or woods dispatch so what exactly it talks about okay so when we talk about magna carta as i said it is a fundamental rights it is a list of justifiable will fundamental rights of the constitution which is elaborated uh, and it is including you know in the constitution of other countries also in the world so this was included in education in india in with the help of what with the help of woods dispatch committee so it was under woods dispatch now many students may be not aware about these uh, commissions or many students may not aware about what are the all commissions you are supposed to read so don't worry the next class which we have on the app live in that class this particular topic will be properly taught to you made you understand and it is you know it is prepared with all the notes the only kit care you need to take is understand it very well and learn properly right okay next is for the reservation of socially disadvantaged sections the ceiling fixed by supreme court of india is what now see this question actually you know there is um, there is no such detailed topic in this but this question was in one of the previous year question paper so yes out of the five questions one such expected factual questions can be a part of your examination it can be your gross enrollment ratio it can be the index people index it with reference to education it can be you know what exactly this uh, the classes either the social disadvantage classes what are the ceiling for reservation fix so there can be one of the factual questions which you have to be ready for so here when when you are talking about so reservation for social socially disadvantaged sections its percentage the ceiling is nothing but it is 50% which has been fixed by the supreme court right okay coming to the next question is uh it's national education policy 2020 the statements they have given and they have they have told you to identify the true statements so let's see all the statements one by one four year integrated bed will be a dual major uh, holistic course uh, and that will be a minimum degree for the school teachers all stand alone teacher education institutions will be required to con convert to multidisciplinary a two year bed course for the students having bachelor's degree uh, can be taken with a specialized you know subject admission test to pre service teacher preparation all the programs will be conducted by uh, ncert and one year ba course for the students who have made you know who have done four years undergraduate course so we have seen this multiple entry system exit system but remember one thing very well those students who are doing four years undergraduate course can opt for you know such professional courses or master courses only with reference to their you know certain amount of ceiling with their sgpa cgpa and that criteria you know you should be aware of right so which of the statements whether statement a b c d e which of the statements says that the statements are true with respect to new education sorry national education policy 2020 so looking at all the statements and understanding the statements properly statement number a which talks about ba degree with holistic you know a major holistic dual specialization statement c talks about two years ba degree for the students who are having three years of bachelor uh, you know bachelor's degree and e one year ba is possible if you have done a four years undergraduate course so these are the options which stands to be right as per the new national education policy 2020 right okay now coming after the implementation of national education policy 2020 after implementation 
which of this type of institutions will exist, will exist, okay? Whether will you have a deemed universities, whether you will have teaching universities, whether you have affiliated universities, technical affiliated universities, research universities or autonomous universities granting, you know, uh, degree call autonomous degree granting colleges. So from the given options, okay, which of the uh, options will exist with respect to National Education Policy 2020? So from these given options, the ed educational institutions which will exist will be your teaching universities, right? Research universities and the universities with autonomous status granting the college degrees, right? So option number B, D and E. Coming next is the aim of vocationalization of education. Now, all those students who have attended the session yesterday, in fact, okay, to them, I have clearly taught you what is the term vocationalization means. We have studied very well integration, national integration of vocationalization. So here they have given the options is making job oriented education, preparing students for a vocation, emphasizing on vocational education or gradually converting general education to vocational education. So it is talking about what the aim of vocationalization of ed uh, educational institutions with respect to what. So vocationalization of education is basically talking about what. So let's see, let's have an understanding. So when we talk about vocationalization, it indicates what? Preparing a students for vocation along with general education. It means that preparing the students for job plus their general education, which is a demand in the market. And it means that you are making your student market ready, right? Now, the statutory body representing or responsible for quality and standard of teacher education. Now, see, as I said, I'm trying my level best to make sure and to make a practice that every day one question is given to you as what as your um, it is basically with respect to what with respect to your acronyms. So you should be very, very careful that you should know these acronyms properly, understand them very well and make sure that you know it uh, in a proper way. So the statutory body which is responsible for maintaining quality and standard of education in the country is AICT, NC, NCT, NCERT or UGC. So one, the one which is responsible for maintaining quality and standard education in the country basically is none another than NCTE. That is National Council for Teacher Education, which is one of the statutory body which was set under the National Council for Teachers Education, that is NCTET, uh, okay, TE, sorry, Act, that is 1993, sorry, 1993. In 1995, it was formally to oversee the standards. It was a procedure and processes with respect to Indian education system. So when it comes to responsibility of maintaining the quality of the standard of education of teacher, we have National Council for Teachers Education, right? Coming to Swayam, yes, we have, in fact, we have done Swayam very well. So Swayam questions can be expected not only in teaching aptitude, but also as a part of your higher education system. So Swayam is initiated by government of India with an objective of what? Best quality with content and delivery, uh, quality materials with nominal cost, teach all the classes that is from class 9 to PG, access the students continuously and grant degree, assessed by anyone, where, anywhere and at in any time. So from this given options, which talks about, you know, uh, getting, uh, I mean to say, so getting the question terms of Swayam right. So let, let's just look. So when we talk about quality, yes. Providing materials at nominal cost. No, this is not the objective we have read. Classes, yes, 9 to PG. Then we have, you know, accessed by anyone, anywhere at any time. As, as, as a students continuously and granting degree, no. So, M does not do that. Okay. So, option number A, C and E are the options which are taken care of. Right. So, yes, coming to the end of this class. Now, all those students who are new to the channel and wish to join our channel, you can go to Google Play Store, download global online app, register yourself with the registered mobile number. 
go to the course in the course you will get all the content with respect to you know videos lectures uh weekly test mock test notes so all this is available at the contact detail given below in case if you want to see demo sessions you please can contact us see the demo sessions and go for uh, the same so that you can start with your preparation and go ahead with your cracking of net examination that's all we have for the day everyone thank you very much and see you in the next class